Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. In today's video we're going to be testing the HDMI capability of the Retroid Pocket. I've literally only just tested it so you're seeing it for the first time and so am I. Okay this is obviously what it looks like it's got a micro USB to mini USB on my portable monitor. Obviously it reflects the screen, so far so good. What I'll do is I'll go into the Android app itself, guys. I think it's the best way to show. So, as you can see, the little cursor moves around equally as good as what it does on the Retroid Pocketo. So let's go in and let's find... Yeah, let me know if you've received your Retroid Pocket guys yet, and uh, are you enjoying it? I'll tell you what I am excited for though, is the RK2020 Aluminium. Damn, should be here very soon. Okay, let's see if we can raise, hit, raise this. And then lower that. I wonder if that makes it just a little bit better. I think it does. Okay, so I put a few more N64 in there. I know a lot of people were asking about N64 on this, so let's go into it. Categories, N64. Let's just test them all, shall we? Yep, sounds coming through the TV, which is nice. We don't want brightness, do we? It's so awkward, I haven't got, I haven't got the remote. Okay, I hope that's coming across. Hopefully that will automatically disappear in the bottom right. I haven't used it for a while, but I'm sure it does. There we go. Okay, let's go. Now obviously it is Bluetooth enabled, so you will be able to just use a dedicated pad, or you can use the Retroid Pocket itself. There really is no excuse for me to play poorly now because I'm not recording and looking at the phone. Yeah, not experiencing any lag at all. How can my own red shell hit me? That's just pathetic. Come on. I'm not having it. Mamma mia.
Not today, Yoshi. Not today. Hopefully that'll silence a few of the critics. Yeah, it plays really well, guys, to be honest. Normally you have a little bit of lag or latency with the controls, a bit of screen tearing. Not seeing any of that here, guys. Press the wrong button. Being very generous on the items. Makes a change. Two for two, come on. Look how silky smooth this is running. Beautiful, spicy with the ball.
I swear playing it in this view, it really makes it just feel like a new game. <laughs> Everything seems bigger and more of a threat. Give me some coins, amigo. Well, that was pathetic. I blame the view. Having a ball sack. Come on. Let's do the old cheat option.
So, Techie did a video on one of his subscribers um, that told him to use the standalone, I think it was the Flycast emulator. I strongly believe that in this Retroid Pocket app that I'm showcasing now, that it is Flycast because But on here, um, it may not be as pixelated. Granted, the sky is a little bit dodge. But as you'll see, it's actually a lot sharper and with the same performance. Sorry about the screen glare, guys. Can't be helped! Timmy, don't move. I need to shoot you, Timmy. Well, that roll did nothing for you, Sunshine, did it? Nothing. If that reflection is annoying you guys, it's annoying me as well. Nothing I can do.
This is such a comical game, but I am absolutely awful at it. But I still enjoy it. The San Francisco 49ers. Bit of the Ravens. Boom! Sacked right away. Not good. Oh, you have my laugh. Butterfingers, butterfingers. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'll make this the last N64 game, guys, and then I will test just a, a couple of others, like a, maybe a bit of Final Bay and Alpha. Maybe a bit of PSP. But as you can see, there is no problems whatsoever. <coughs> Excuse me. Defense, defense, defense. Oh, he's not doing very well on the old defense. With the turnaround, he misses the three. Alley oop. Sweet. 
swish. Let's have a little look at uh, Link's Awakening. Game Boy Color version. Looks great. I still can't believe that like Link's name's actually engraved in the sword. Now the only thing I can think of is it was actually engraved and given to him with his name in, just in case of times like this. He's got a bit of amnesia, doesn't know where he is. And the windfish, don't let him leave. <coughs> Never gonna win any awards for singing me, guys. What the? Yeah, yeah, we get the picture, my friend. Drive Genesis This is one hell of a game Straight away in the mix Oh kicked and chopped I remember you, slug. Got your name. I can't even tell you how many hours I played this for on end. Never got tired of it. A good slap to Viper there. Come on, Roz. Roz is out of here. Ooh, Roz is coming back there. Might have to give him a swift kick for that. Come on, double it up, double it up. Wrong side. Let's see if I'm kicking right, right in the ass. Ross. He knows I'm going to kick him. That's what it is. Yeah. 
Oh, it was close. Took some air there as well. Oh. Trying to go on the inside because the car was coming. I place on my fourth place. There goes the Viper. In sixth place, Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. It shouldn't be too hard to catch up. Oh no! Speak too soon. Natasha's flying by. Bunker. Where's Roz? Jesus. Oh, there's the cops as well. Great. Gee, he started off well. The copper fall off his bike then. Ah, ah. Is him taking some air there? So I kicked him on the landing. Oh, that was close. That's about overtaking me. There's a bunker. Ooh, oh yeah. Double car. Oh. Fourth place. I'll take it. First last, isn't it? One, two, three on the podium. First last. Okay. Just try a bit of a. Uh... Yeah, I downloaded a few games, guys, just to test. In another video, but we'll give you a sneak peek. Correction on what I said before, this is what I meant. <laughs> Not N64. N64 runs well because of the hacks. But Dreamcast, Flycast is definitely um, used in the back end here. But I think frame skips on. I'm not too sure. Feels like it though. As you'll see, it still runs really well.
Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it there. So I hope you're happy with the way that this is performing on the Retroid Pocket with the HDMI connection. Obviously, it's only a very, very small screen. It's a portable monitor. Uh, obviously, you've gotta be careful though, guys, because the bigger the screen you go, sometimes the games actually look a lot worse. Now, it's not due to the fact that it's the TV, but it's, it's just the hardware and when it was made, really, more than anything. Just overstretching the screen, it just it, it kind of makes it a bit messy. This is a 15.9 inch screen, so I think that's just the right size, really. So if you're into gaming, you know, on a desk or don't go for something too big, just get yourself one of these portable monitors. I think it cost about 120 quid. Really, really cheap. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. All the new uh, newcomers that have come, welcome. I think you're absolutely all awesome. I've had a huge, massive uplift. I don't know where, I don't know where you've all come from, uh, but you are gladly welcome. Uh, and I look forward to hopefully entertaining you with a few more videos as we go down the line, guys. Yeah, just a quick one. Actually, uh, I've got the Black Shark. £128, I think, I paid for it. Uh, brand new, so it's a really, really old phone. As you know, that I, I did the Huey, the Huawei, sorry, uh, P30 Lite, some fantastic performance. Uh, I actually got, got the uh, Dolphin emulator to play some Wii games on there as well, which is absolutely surprising. £172 phone, oh, brilliant. So really excited about the Black Shark, only simply because it is actually a gaming phone. So it will have a lot more features that will benefit like locking it down and only having the cores and the CPU and GPU dedicated for the performance for it. So really looking forward to that one. Hope you guys are too. And as always guys, take care. Spicy Nugget. Eat girl.